This morning, Facebook releases its first ever threat report on efforts to spread political misinformation on its platform. The company removed more than 150 so-called influence operations after criticism that it failed to block Russian interference back in 2016. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herod spoke exclusively with Facebook about the findings. Catherine, good morning to you. What's the big takeaway here? Well, Gail, the nearly 40-page report reviewed by CBS News found a growing number of groups right here at home manipulating information for political and financial gain. Facebook also stresses the problem is very real in other countries. Leading up to the 2020 campaigns, Facebook investigators found election meddling by traditional adversaries like Russia and Iran was compounded by new efforts to distort the facts. That was actually one of the big surprises. Nathaniel Gleischer is Facebook's head of security policy. Domestic manipulation and foreign interference are both serious challenges, and you have to tackle them both at the same time. It's not just U.S. elections. According to the report, Facebook has identified influence operations that came from over 50 countries in 30 languages on every continent except Antarctica. In the United States, we see these types of activities linked to marketing firms, linked to sort of political actors, and linked to fringe groups or conspiracy theory groups. What does domestic interference look like? Imagine a PR firm or a marketing firm that hires a thousand people in the United States to use their social media accounts or maybe create fake social media accounts to advocate for particular issues or on behalf of a particular candidate. Gleischer said Facebook started identifying and taking down such operations in 2017. Among the threats Facebook observed were so-called perception hacks designed to undermine voter confidence. One of the key claims we see people make is that they've hacked election systems. These are simply people playing on the fear that that might have happened. They're trying to weaponize uncertainty and weaponize our own fears. For a layperson, it's hard to know what's real, what's trustworthy. What would you say to them? Ask who's reporting it? Who's behind it? How much do you know about them? And can you get some of that additional context? And the report predicts more targeted attacks in the future, exploiting political divisions because these influence operations capitalize on fear and uncertainty. The face report comes as President Biden is set to meet middle of next month with the Russian President Vladimir Putin. Anthony. Right, Catherine, thank you.